Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I definitely believe there's a reason that you clicked on this video today, and I'm so happy to be here with you sending this message. My name is Megan, and if you don't already know me, I'm the lead spiritual advisor here for the Relationship Psychics. I am so, so, so excited because in today's reading, I'm going to actually show you a drawing of your future spouse. So if you've ever wondered what your husband or wife will someday look like, this video is for you. Also, I'd love it so, so much if you would hit that subscribe button and join our amazing spiritual family here on YouTube. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up since it really helps our channel grow and reach more people who need to hear this message. Okay, so you're probably like, this girl's crazy. How can we all have the same looking husbands and wives? And to that, I'd say you're absolutely right. That would not make any sense. <laughs> In this reading, I want you to really meditate and try to open your third eye chakra so you can see which aspects of these drawings resonate with you. You'll be surprised. Certain things I say about this person's physical features and traits will speak directly to your intuition and you will know which of these things align for you and your future spouse. Of course, if you are looking for something a bit more specific and personalized, then I'd have to recommend either our personalized soulmate reading and sketch, which is offered on our website, or to download our new app, Mystica Psychic Readings. If you haven't already downloaded it, you absolutely need to. It's totally free to download, and it gives you 24 seven access to me and other psychics who can give you the personalized answers you need when it comes to your life and love. So if you have any follow-up questions about any of my readings here on YouTube, or you just wanna say hello, that's the place to reach me. And I really hope to see you guys there. Okay, so now I wanna take a few moments to allow ourselves the chance to open ourselves up to this reading today and fully prepare our hearts and spirits for this message. Start by taking a deep inhale through your nose and breathe in positive light energy and guidance. Then exhale through your mouth, releasing all of your stress, anxiety, and doubts. Continue to take these deep and centered breaths as you concentrate your energy on your third eye chakra, which is right at the center of your forehead. This will be especially important for you today as you are guided to a crystal and drawing and use your God-given intuition. You may feel a slight buzz or sensation in the center of your forehead. Just remember that is completely normal and actually a very good sign. Just relax your forehead and continue to take these intentional breaths. We are now going to ask for the divine's guidance and intercession in this reading today. We ask to be open and willing to receive the clarity and wisdom of the universal life force. May the angels and saints guide us to a greater understanding of thy divine will. May we also be more accepting of this divine will and be able to let go of the expectations, doubts, fears, and constraints that we place upon ourselves. Let go of the ways of the world and look toward the ways of God and the plans that he has for your future in life. Find the peace that comes with releasing and surrendering our own perceptions as we continue to inhale the spiritual guidance and exhale the darkness and negativity. Now, when you're ready, I invite you to take a look at the three crystals and drawings that I have placed in front of me today. Do any of these crystals or drawings call to you? Please just trust your intuition here to guide you and know that it can be for any reason or no reason at all. Just go with the one you feel called to. Once you're ready, you can jump to your particular reading using the timestamps I have located in the description box down below. Or you can watch all three readings and see which aspects speak to your spirit. That is totally up to you as this is your reading and I'm just here to guide you and help you along your journey. Anyways, I am so blessed to be here and let's begin and take a look at your future spouse's drawing today. Hello to my beautiful group number one. So let's take a look and see what your future spouse looks like. What does your husband and wife, what are they going to look like? So these are the two drawings that I drew while meditating upon my group number one today. And I have both a male and female. So you know, this will apply to any gender preference, any sexual orientation, all of that. So 
these are the two drawings I have and we're gonna also draw some cards afterwards and we're gonna kind of take a deeper look you know go beyond just the physical as well as personality traits that come to me as well as any cards that kind of help make this reading even more comprehensive and give us a deeper answer on what your future spouse will be like so first let's see which drawing we have first okay so we have the male first okay and I'm I apologize for the little bit of crinkle we have on my drawing <laughs> but you know that happened since I folded it but basically let's discuss some of the physical features so these are the different features I felt that your husband would really have and I kind of want to break them down I want to kind of go by each aspect of the drawing and again, I want you to be really open to which parts and different traits and aspects and physical characteristics really speak to your spirit, really speak to you. Okay, so the first thing that I want to really point out here that really speaks to me is the piercing eyes. Like I drew someone who has these eyes that are almost like very intense. So they're very, uh, they're very passionate. They're very they're an intense person. They really pierce your soul and they look past just who you like your physical characteristics. They are able to like almost see into your soul. You know, those people who are kind of like that, where it's like when they're looking at you, they're not really just like, you know, shallowly looking at you. They're like looking into your soul, like looking into the depths of your soul because they are that intense. And that's how I feel like your future spouse, your future husband's going to be like, he's going to be someone who's very intense. Like he's very fiery and passionate in a lot of ways he's not someone who's very you know nonchalant he's much more someone who really gets fired up very passionate to very ambitious and has big dreams and feels things in a big way and that's how you know he's going to really show that through his eyes he's going to show his intensity the intensity is the perfect word he has this intensity about him and you can see that through his eyes very much so then as far as you know his eyebrows he has kind of beautifully shaped eyebrows I would say they're not too bushy they're not too thin they're kind of just like a beautifully shaped slight arch at the ends for the eyebrows and again, they really kind of add to that intensity of his eyes and of the piercing look that he gives you. And it's almost like a very like romantic piercing look though. It's like a romantic look because it's like he can see you for more than just what you look like. He can see your past. He can see your future. He can like it's so romantic and intense is what I'm really getting about your future spouse. And the other thing I wanted to mention here is like he has really good skin, really clear skin. I'm getting more someone who's a little bit more fair toned in complexion. It could be, you know, fair to medium. I'm getting more so too, like this like really nice jaw structure. You see how it's kind of like a very nice prominent chin, but it's also very structured very, very well. Like the squareness of the jaw too here indicates like again his intensity his ability to kind of point towards something and want something and when he wants it he's gonna go and he's gonna achieve it he's going to get it done that also that kind of chin really does indicate that often as well so the strong chin the intense piercing eyes both go together extremely well as well as the eyebrows which really kind of go together his hair is going to be like a little bit I'm sensing more on the dark side I'm getting darker hair here and it's going to be like a little bit out of control, but not too out of control because he likes things controlled. He likes things, he likes to have control. He likes to be an authority figure in a lot of ways. Like he really, you know, is committed and again, intense and very purposeful in how he is as a person. So he is like someone who does care about his personal appearance, but not to like a crazy degree. Like he, again, just he's in control he knows what he wants and you know he eventually will want you right which is also another amazing thing he has kind of you know slimmer ears he's kind of more slim in figure I'm getting like I'm not getting someone who's too bulky or overweight or anything and I'm also getting you know he has like a little bit of stubble because again like he's very handsome too he's a very handsome man very masculine too I'm getting like he's very masculine he really kind of like has this like alpha dominant personality that kind of just like takes you in and like 
entices you but I feel like this drawing of him right now is showing more so his like intense serious side he's not just intense and serious he also knows how to smile he also knows how to laugh with you he also knows how to make you laugh but like when he's serious about something when he's serious about you when he's serious about his family when he cares about something and has big dreams and stuff like he will go for it and he's all in you know he's kind of all or nothing is another thing I'm getting about him like very all or nothing has more broad shoulders as well I wanted to mention here again going with his straight piercing personality that is him he has also has a very straight nose very strong nose which indicates that he's going to have a very strong personality but he does have this interior that is more loving and soft that's another thing that's really coming to me here for my group number one he does have this tendency to kind of present himself in a way that is all put together straight you know stringent str like strong pointed chin strong straight nose piercing eyes perfectly combed hair he has a way to kind of do that and put in control but it's because his past has caused him to feel so out of control and that's why he is like how he is kind of almost I don't want to say like controlling but he kind of is a little bit controlling because he's gone through some trauma in his past and this like kind of allows him to deal with that by trying to control other things like that he can control now because he doesn't you know want to ever feel so out of control again which is a really hard and sad thing but that's why he does have such a sweet side and a sweet heart and soul but you have to break that down like he isn't necessarily someone who at first you think is like the nicest kindest soul but like you will get to see that side of him because he'll when he trusts someone he will open that up and he'll open up his heart to you but there is a little bit of a wall up for him and you can kind of see that through him like he has a wall up and he's hesitant to trust he's hesitant to let go of that control but you're gonna really be that person for him that's going to allow him to let down his walls let down his guard and really win you know win over his heart and win over his trust and it's gonna be such a beautiful complimentary relationship I'm getting for my group number one like it's someone who and honestly this is kind of something that came to me like a little bit of like a great example of my first you know husband drawing this is gray from 50 shades of gray kind of like that's kind of what I'm getting a little bit as far as someone who's like been hardened has to kind of be control has to be a very like successful CEO type you know doesn't like to lose control at all but it's because of his past trauma you know that he is that way but he does let go hit like of his guard for you know the main character the main girl and that's kind of going to be like a similar situation for you so I'm getting kind of a 50 shades of gray vibe here so that's yeah that's kind of what I'm getting for the husband on the husband side so let's take a look at our next drawing which will be for a female and see what we're getting here because again this is not supposed to be constrained by gender and I want it to represent every single person who is watching this video so okay next we have this girl woman she's beautiful already you, you can really see how beautiful she is one of the first things I'm really getting here that about her though is like her eyes like her eyes are really big she has really characteristically big eyes and they're really wise and they're really like emotional like they're really soulful she's a very soulful person like she has so much she almost has like a child look presence about her slightly but it's like her soul just radiates through her eyes especially like she's so expressive that's another thing i'm getting she's very expressive this girl she has really big big captivating eyes that just suck you in like again like a little doll almost like a little a girl who just is able to express herself through her soul through her eyes as far as that goes you know super wise super spiritual super deep as well i'm getting like a very deep person a very kind loving emotional person as well very wise but a little bit hmm, okay I'm getting like she's easily hurt by things that people say like she's also someone who needs someone to protect her and keep her safe because she is so open she is so emotionally receptive that I feel very strongly that because of those eyes that I'm already seeing right now it's like she needs someone who's gonna just 
care for her and like love her and just she needs someone she feels safe with she needs someone she feels like will protect her because again i do get this like childlike beauty and innocence about her she has this wisdom of like an old soul but she also has this almost like this childlike naive and optimistic kind of outlook on life so she does need someone who's going to be a little bit more realistic a little bit more grounding and someone who also is going to protect her from those who would try to hurt her because she is like that beautiful innocent child like flower it's just she's really precious she's like a precious pearl i'm getting pearl very strongly right now pearl is like the image that just popped into my head and then her eyes are a little bit more spread apart i would say than too close together they're they're a little bit more further out it's another thing i want to notice about this her eyelashes are very you know beautiful long full she has beautifully arched eyebrows that are kind of like definitely full, again, thick, I would say, just as her eyelashes are pretty thick. As far as ethnicity, I'm really getting, I would say someone who's maybe either European descent or perhaps Middle Eastern, something like that, maybe French, Italian, something, something along those lines, or perhaps Moroccan, something Middle Eastern as well I'm getting. Then I'm getting that you know her hair is very long very beautiful and again thick and she has like a beautiful middle part here and it's more straight i would say it's more straight which kind of almost contradicts or not contradicts but it kind of complements in a different way her very large creative emotional eyes as far as her nose goes it's very beautiful it's like it's not super straight I mean, it is straight, but it, it it's like a little button nose, kind of, but a little bit bigger than that. It's like, kind of like, I'm trying to think of how better to explain this nose. It's like, it's kind of lifted in like a, you know, refined way. It's not super little. It's like a button nose, but not like this, like really tiny nose. It's like a really good size nose. And her lips are like very full, I'm getting. Very full lips that kind of draw you in and like, you'll feel that too, like, you'll be very attracted to her lips because that's like a very big aspect of her. She is a big personality and that kind of shows through some of her facial features. Like she has big eyes, she has big lips. She has, you know, thick eyebrows. She has long hair. Like she's a big personality. But she's a loving, loving soul. Very kind, very nice, very, literally the kindest soul ever. A pearl is what I'm getting for her. And... She's like precious, exactly, she's precious. That's totally something I'm getting for her. And then her lips are full and like her lips kind of bring about a little bit more of like her like, you know, sexual side slightly. Like she has a little bit of like a, that, she definitely has like that sort of, you know, erotic side to her, absolutely. She's not just, you know, innocent, childlike. She has that aspect of her, but it's like, it's kind of playful almost. She's playful with it. She's not someone who's like overly sexual or anything like that. But when it's the right person, obviously, you know, you who will be her future husband, she'll totally be very, have a lot of drive in that way as well. And it will be an amazing thing because she's very, very physically beautiful as well as emotionally and spiritually. And then as far as her facial feature, her facial structure more specifically, she has really high cheekbones, really high cheekbones, really unique facial like feature, facial structure because she has, it's almost like she has a little bit of like, I don't want to say a square jaw, but it's a very like, it's almost like, you know, Gigi Hadid or Ariana Grande kind of has one slightly as well. I'm trying to think of other celebrities who have that, but I know Gigi Hadid has it. It's like a very unique facial structure. It's a lot of models have it where it's kind of almost, almost square, but like in a very like structural way, if that makes sense. So it's like a very unique, it's not the kind of facial structure you see every day is another thing I'm getting. She's a unique beauty. That's definitely something I'm getting too. Like people always like will like wonder about her, like as far as like her, you know, ethnicity, things like that, because she is so unique in her beauty. And then she has very pronounced collarbones as well. So overall, very beautiful, very, very like just emotionally beautiful, precious pearl is what I'm really getting for your future wife. So that's a really exciting reading for my group number one. Okay, let's pull a few cards now and see if we can just, you know, get more insight onto your soulmate. So I'm going to pull one from this deck. 
And this could apply for both the male as well as the female versions. This is definitely it. Okay. Okay, so I feel like this card applies very strongly to our mail here because it says take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. Because remember, our mail is kind of a workaholic. He's kind of like a very controlling person. And what this is saying to me here is like, this is saying that you are going to help loosen him up and bring out his playful side and his, you know, sweet, kind hearted nature that's buried within the wall. Okay, so you're going to help him take a break, break down those walls and really get inside to his heart. So definitely make sure to kind of let that sink in for you. So the next card that I'm going to draw from is this pile. And we're going to see maybe we can learn something as well about our female. Oh my gosh. Okay. So love is the card that just flew out at us. So what this really is indicating to me, this love card is that with both the male and female here, there's going to be such intense love. There's going to be such complete passion and romance and almost just an ability to fully, fully give each other's soul to one another. Like to really receive that genuine, genuine compassion and like intimacy and that connection that really transcends everything. Like it's literally like true love is what I'm getting for your future wife and husband. So no matter what, this is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful marriage, a beautiful connection. It's gonna be true love, guys. This is gonna be true love for you. And I hope that this reading spoke to you. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, again, make sure to comment below and let me know and you know subscribe if you haven't already. And I just can't wait to see you guys next time. And I'm just sending all of my love and blessings and prayers your way. Bye guys. All right, so for all my friends who are drawn to crystal number two, this is your drawing of your future spouse. So let's take a peek and see what your future spouse will look like or what traits and physical characteristics they will have. So let's see what our first drawing is today. Okay, so we have the female first today. And okay, so let's just kind of walk through some of the different characteristics and traits that she possesses and really, really pay attention here to the things that I'm saying that really speak directly to you and you feel in your heart and soul are intuitively correct when it comes to your future wife. So really just open yourselves up to that. So the first thing I wanted to mention about your future wife here is that she is a little bit on the petite side. I'm getting like shorter in height, which is an interesting aspect that just came to my mind because it's not necessarily represented in this drawing. Another thing that I'm getting is her hair is kind of like wavy or straight, not too curly or anything. And it might have a slight curl to it though. And it's a little bit shorter. It's not super, super long. It's not super short either. Then as far as the facial structure, she has a very beautiful, you know, V-shaped facial structure, which is very pretty, very elegant and refined is what I'm getting for her as well too. Very elegant and refined. Her eyes are kind of very wise, I'm getting. But also I'm really getting that she's a little bit hesitant. Like she's a little bit shy in a way and she's almost a little bit to herself. Like she's scared almost to speak up. You can kind of see it too. Like you can see it through the strong. She's a little nervous. She's a little nervous. She's a little hesitant to trust, especially, you know, trust you at first too. And I'm also getting, you know, her eyes are very kind though. Her eyes are very, very kind. Like she's very, very good at listening to other people. She's definitely good at seeing. She sees a lot and she listens. She's not so much of someone who talks a lot. Like I'm not getting that she's very talkative. I'm getting more she's quiet and kind and really good at listening, really good at helping. She's very into helping others. She also is very, very elegant, graceful is what I'm getting too. And she is curious. She's curious about things. And again, I'm getting this all from her different facial features, guys. She's curious about things because she doesn't necessarily always trust herself enough to fully embark on those things because she is a little bit more reserved and shy. 
So she's nervous to actually take those risks and do those things, but she, she's interested in reading about them and observing other people who are doing those things and caring for the people who need caring for and listening to the people who need to be listened to. So she's interested in things, but she's not necessarily wanting to do them herself. She's more of an observer in that way, but that makes someone who's a really good friend, a really good companion to you as well. So those are really good qualities to have. And she also has her eyes are a little bit closer together. Again, that kind of shows her concern for you and her ability to listen and to understand. And really it shows too that she has very, very, a lot of knowledge. She's very knowledgeable. She's very intelligent is another thing I'm getting. She's, she really just soaks up that knowledge. And remember, she's slow to speak, but she's very quick to absorb she absorbs a lot, okay? She absorbs a lot from other people and especially when it comes to knowledge and information. And she is delicate in a lot of ways. She's very, she's not really someone who likes to really shake the boat. She's very calm, very kind, very peaceful, almost like a water sign I'm getting in a lot of ways. Like she's not going to really stir up with fire. She's much more into soothing and calming. And she's going to have that calming, healing energy about her when you're with her. So another thing that I want to note here is like the petite features that, again, indicate her ability to be serene, to be calm, to listen, and to, to really process what she's taking in. So I feel like that kind of really is shown through this sketch, I hope as well to you. And her hair almost looks like water in some ways. Like she's very, very water sign is what I'm getting. Like that's literally the best way to describe what I'm visualizing and what I'm seeing in your soulmate. Another thing that I'm getting behind her kind, wise eyes is you can kind of see there's like a little bit of like a circle under them. And it's not like it's a, like a wrinkle <laughs> necessarily. It's more just like a wise crease that kind of appears while she's listening and while she's learning and hearing and absorbing all of this information that she's giving you. She also is someone too who when she loves someone she doesn't necessarily always show it through like an over emotional way but she does do it through the way she listens to you, through the way she supports you and for the way she cares for you. Even if she isn't always the best at expressing herself emotionally she still does care a lot and she just does it in different ways. You know all people show love in different ways and She's someone who definitely shows love and it's a lot more through her actions and her ability to listen and support you. So that's kind of what I'm getting for my female sketch version for my group number two. Now let's see what our future husband looks like for my group number two. Okay, so here is my sketch for the future husband. And there's a lot of things I'm already getting for my future husband out there, this group number two sketch. I'm getting... He is someone who is like the kindest soul you'll ever meet. Like so kind, very heroic, very heroic I'm getting too. He has, his hair is like interesting because it's like I'm getting three different colors that are really coming to me. I'm getting like a blondish, reddish, brown mixture. So it could be any of those three. But you know, so hair color isn't necessarily definitive, but I'm getting that he is so noble and heroic and like very true to his word like he is the opposite of someone who's a liar like he's so honest he's so noble he's so he's like a true hero in so many ways he wants to do the right thing and he does the right thing even when it's hard and he wants to help you know help the little man help save the day like he's literally like you know a hero in so many ways and again you can see in his eyes how kind-hearted he is how quick he is to do the right thing and to be that hero for you and for everyone like not just you though like he I feel like very strongly he could be in a role in his life where he serves like he could be a firefighter or he could be a police officer like he does something that's like trying to serve others a teacher something to really give back to the community or help another in another way you know or if he is like a politician or something for example he's trying to do it he's trying to fight for the little guy like he's very much you know that stereotypical heroic kind of guy and he also though however is very like he's very emotional though too like he 
he basically, and you can kind of all see this, I feel like through him too, like his hair is a little crazy. Like that kind of shows his fiery side of his personality because if you hurt the people he loves, like then he will be like, then that's where his temper comes. Like you, he's very emotional. He speaks with his heart and you know, he defends those people he loves. Like he's defensive of the people he loves. So if you are about to hurt the people he loves, he will like be heroic and he will, he'll get fiery then, right? And that's kind of maybe why I'm seeing some of the red there like almost like an Irish you know temper of like fighting for what's right fighting for for the people that you love and fighting for the right principles in life and then as far as his eyes go he's kind of he's humorous he's so humorous it all just came to me right now he is funny he is so funny he's like he he cracks the jokes he's the life of the party he's friends with everyone too that's another thing I'm getting like he's a great great future husband guys like I'm seriously he is so funny hilarious but he's also so kind-hearted like he almost kind of makes like himself seem a little tougher through his jokes but they're like total jokes like he's like a prankster like so funny but then at the same time like he's he's so caring and kind he's just like but he's also very manly very defensive very heroic it's like an amazing combination is what i'm getting from my group number two also look at his chin such a strong strong chin you can see here very distinctive so it holds a lot it holds his masculinity it holds his ability to stand up and defend what is right his ability to be a true man like he is a true man in so many ways guys like and you know he has like little lips but they're almost like smirking right it's almost like a little smirk he has on his face because he's like he's kind of like holding back a laugh and a smile. Like his smile is, and I almost wish I would have draw, drawn his smile that I picture because it's so like, just it like warms your heart with like joy. Like it's just, it's almost like addictive and it kind of like makes you want to smile and just lights up your heart and soul because it's that, it's that like, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. I wish, now I wish I would have drawn the smile. Right now he's kind of just smirking cause he's like, you know, joking with you or, you know, just talking to you, but he's not a serious person. He's very, very funny, very kind, very defensive though with the red, red fieriness that I'm getting when it comes to the people he loves. It's just an amazing, amazing person. And he's so devoted to his family, devoted to what is right. And he has his priorities together for sure. He absolutely does. And you are his priority. Like you being his family, being his wife are going to be his priority. He's going to love you and commit to you. And he's going to do, he's, everything he does is for you. Everything he does is for you. Everything he does is absolutely to take care of you and to be that man that you need him to be. Like really good reading for my group number two for both female and male. I feel like that was a really good one. They were both, you know, different characters, absolutely, but I feel like both of them were really great. And then I'm going to actually pull a few cards, see if any of them are kind of relating to either our male or female today for your future wife or husband. So let's just see with these cards right now, set our intention for these sketches. These sketches, can we get more clarity on your future husband or wife? Oops. Okay, so I'm going to go with this, I think. This is feeling like the card for me the ever unfolding rose it says cracked open it's happening for you not to you okay so what I'm actually getting here is that I'm getting a few things but what I'm mostly getting for this is like he is going to literally be someone who is like always like helping you like serving you like you will be the rose of his life and he will just always want to devote towards you like he will literally, you will just feel so in love with him that it'll be like your your heart is cracked open because he's constantly, constantly trying to, you know, help support you. You know, it's happening for you, not to you. He's always going to be the one who's serving you, who's being kind, who's being humorous, who's making you laugh. Like he lights up your life and you've never felt this in love with anyone. And once you meet him, you're going to know. You're going to absolutely know. You're going to think back to this reading too. So that's really the card I'm getting. Um, and then as far as this applying to her, I believe more so that this applies to her and that she is, it's kind of the sweetness that I talked about, her sweet ability to, you know, hold a lot in, right? And you're going to kind of bring out of her, you know, you're going to help crack her open for this one. Like you're going to help her be more open and vulnerable because she is someone who's more 
to herself. She's a little bit more shy. She's a little bit more refined. You're going to really get to the core of her heart and soul. So anyway, that's what I'm getting for my group number two for the drawing of your future spouse. I really, really hope you enjoy this reading. I literally had so much fun today doing this with you guys. And I would love it again. If you subscribe, please, please, please subscribe, 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 hit that button, the like button, because it really helps me spread this message to more people and comment below if any of these things really resonated with you. Cause I love to hear when my readings are helping you or any aspects are resonating with you. And I want to hear about how you picture your future spouse to look like. So anyways, that is it for today. I'm sending all of my love your way and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys. All right, so for all of my friends who chose card number three or crystal and drawing number three, this is what your future spouse is gonna look like. So this is what your future husband, your future wife is going to look like. Again, like I had mentioned earlier too, there's going to be certain parts of this that really kind of light your soul on fire. They're gonna kind of make sense to you. And those are the parts I really want you to focus on because again, this is more of a generalized reading, but there are specific things that you are meant to hear in this reading. And there are going to be specific physical characteristics that apply for you and for your future husband and wife. So make sure to listen, pay attention to the whole reading so you don't miss any of these aspects that I'm talking about here and you'll be surprised. So Let's get started and see what they look like. So exciting. I know you guys are waiting for this big reveal. Okay, so who do we have first? We have the husband first, your husband. Okay, so let's talk about your husband. Okay, so I'm gonna just tell you guys everything that's coming to me as it's coming. And I'm gonna talk about both physical characteristics as well as the accompanying personality traits that I'm getting as well. So. I'm getting first off he's very he's a little bit shyer he's a little bit more reserved he's so kind like so incredibly kind it's like insane so like ner like I don't want to say nervous but he just he wants to make you happy like he literally so much so wants to make you smile and he hasn't always necessarily been good at romantic things in life like he isn't always He's not necessarily been a very popular guy growing up or he's not necessarily been like the life of the party. He's kind of more of a shy, reserved guy, but he's very sweet. He's like a sweetheart and he does have really, really good intentions, especially when it comes to you. He just, he's really not good at knowing how to go about social situations. Like he's a little bit more reserved. He's a little bit more, you know, afraid to do something wrong socially because he hasn't always really been able to be the best when it comes to those kind of things. But I don't want you to think that that doesn't mean he's not interested in you because he's very interested in you. Like he almost worships you in a way, you know, like that's how interested he is in you. And he's so kind. He would do anything for you. You can see in his eyes too, just how kind he is. Like he's seriously someone who just like sees you and like sees like literally like a princess angel like he just absolutely adores you and he wants to make you happy more than anything like that's the other thing I'm getting like he's very much into like pleasing other people like especially you and he's also this is something that really just came to me he's very intelligent like genius genius level intelligence okay so if you are interested in someone who is super intelligent and kind this is like your guy so intelligent like when I say intelligent I mean he's genius level intelligent <laughs> like so smart and but like again he doesn't care that much about like money he really doesn't like he cares so much more just about like making you happy so like whatever it is to care for you that's what he cares about it's not necessarily like about money at all for him or about anything like his whole life's like reason and mission and purpose is you like I'm not kidding like you are literally his everything absolutely and like he literally is just when he meets you he's going to be like just completely overwhelmed by you because he's just that obsessed with you like in a good way and he's very like again he he's not necessarily someone who's he's a little bit more what's that called introverted he's a little more introverted 
he's someone who loves, you know, video games. He loves reading. He loves movies. He is very, very again smart. He's not necessarily that funny, but he's endearing, if that makes sense. He's very endearing, very sweet, very genuine. Someone too who will like literally serve you. When I say like that you are his whole life, I mean you are his whole life. You and your family are his whole life, his everything. He is someone who is completely loyal. Like he would never cheat on you. He would never do anything like that. You are serious. You would never have to worry with him, like ever. Because again, he's so devoted to you. You are his everything in life. He's just completely, you know, you satisfy him fully and, and totally. And the only thing he worries about is is making you happy and making sure you're okay. And then of course he's introverted. So he has his other intellectual activities, his other things he does for fun. And that's really like his life. Like that's his main purpose in life. It's not to make money. He doesn't really care that much about money. He'll make enough money to make sure you're happy and taken care of and your family's taken care of, but it's not a big concern for him. It's much more so that you are satisfied and happy. So like he'll just do whatever, whatever you know needs to be done for that. And he just, like, look at how kind his eyes are, guys. I'm sorry. I cannot get over that. He has some facial hair I'm getting as well, too, here. And he has bigger ears. That's another thing I'm really getting. Bigger ears, but very kind-hearted and very serving. Like, another thing that I'm getting, too, that I really want to bring up to you is, like, he had a, like, rough childhood, like, a rougher childhood. He went through, like, he didn't have an easy childhood at all. He definitely struggled a little bit early on, but he became like the strong silent type because of that. He became someone who will do whatever he can for the people he loves because he didn't necessarily have a loving family growing up. That's really what I'm getting more so is that he didn't have a super loving and supportive family. So he wants to be that amazing father. He wants to be that loving and supportive person for you. And that's why it's like, you are his everything and that's why it's like you're his main concern now like he doesn't care that much about anything else besides his family and uh, besides you so that's really an amazing amazing thing i'm already getting about him and then let's look at our female today see what we can get from our female here so she is very i'd say she's very pretty she's very pretty she's I believe more of like an Asian descent I'm, I'm getting here. She has beautiful, beautiful eyes. Very like gorgeous, gorgeous eyes. And she has very petite features, I would say too, in some ways. Like she's a little bit more, she's not so feminine. She's more masculine in a lot of ways. Like, and this is not a bad thing. I, I feel like that sounds like it's a bad thing. I don't mean that. I mean that in a really good way. Like, I mean that like she basically... She's looking to kind of do her own thing and like she knows who she is. That's another thing that really came to me. Like she absolutely knows who she is. She doesn't, you know, need a guy to really tell her who she is. She doesn't really need anyone. You know, she's very independent is what I'm getting here. Very independent and very able to be like, you know, I'm fine. She's very like very into her career and what she enjoys, like her hobbies as well very hobby oriented she again she doesn't need anything or anyone but that's what even makes it more endearing when she does take to you because you she views as like an equal and it's a really very beautiful relationship like that because like she's so authentic that's another thing i'm getting here she's very authentic she doesn't try too hard at all she's very natural you know she doesn't wear really that much makeup she doesn't really care much about what she looks like or anything like that. She just, she just, you know, loves who she is. She knows who she is and you love that about her. You really do. And what matters to her more so is just finding comfort and being comfortable and, you know, doing the things she enjoys and working on the things that she likes to work on. She doesn't have huge goals or ambitions, but she just is really content is what I'm getting. She's a very content person. She's not someone who causes a lot of drama. She's not someone who causes a lot of chaos in your life. Like she's very supportive as a partner. She is not very emotional. She just, she's really able to just, you know, be very like calm and even minded and even tempered and, and very kind 
as well but she's not again she's very authentic she's gonna be real with you like if she doesn't like something or someone like she'll let you know and you kind of really appreciate that about her too like she's she's nice but she's very real and she's not gonna sugarcoat things she's just she knows who she is and if you aren't gonna be like if you're not gonna accept who that is like she's fine with that like she doesn't you know she doesn't care too much about things like that so it's kind of like a good I feel like she's a good match with your personality honestly because like you will be someone who's gonna want to like do these things and like you're gonna really be someone who appreciates those aspects of her so anyways I hope that you know that reading made sense and I kind of wanted to draw a few cards for you guys to kind of represent or you know kind of further understand either our future husband or wife here so Let's see if there's any cards that kind of call to us as we go. Actually, I felt like this was the card. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, so we have Sisterhood of the Rose. So Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Okay, so two things that just came to my attention here are devotion that was so much him right he was he's so devoted your husband so devoted to you right he's all completely he worships you right like you are you are his you know god almost <laughs> like you are a goddess to him that's totally what i was getting when i when it came to him and as far as her here What's really coming to me here is she is kind of like a teacher. She's kind of like really into her career. She's, you know, really able to, she's like a mystic, a teacher. She's got her own thing going and she's very strong and confident in who she is and what she wants. And that kind of also really shows through here, the priestess aspect of like someone who's like strong and authoritative in that way. And that's kind of how she is as well. So if you enjoy this reading, please, please, please subscribe to my little family here on YouTube. I would love to have you be a part of it. And also click that notification bell as well so you don't miss when I upload a brand new video or reading. Also, if you can just give this video a quick thumbs up, it really does help a lot. So I really, really do appreciate it. And comment below if any of these aspects of your future husband or wife really call to you and to your spirit. Anyways, that is it for today, guys. I'm sending all of my love and light to you guys until next time. Bye, guys.